Right, so I saw a video on Facebook this morning around half past seven that really got to me like a lot because it made me think how much times have changed in like 10 years since I was at school. Basically this video, or should I say a few videos, was a bunch of girls bullying this other girl. I'm not too sure what over, I only saw about 5 seconds of the first video and it just, I just thought no, I'm not going to watch it, I'm going to make a video. Like I'm going to gather my thoughts and make a video because if I compare what time is like now and what time was like when I was at school it would be two totally different worlds even though I left in 2007 like I left school 10 years ago wow I know I mean that's scary to even think that and like obviously I've grown as a person since then and I'm not the same person as I was back then I'm a lot more outspoken I'm a lot more confident I'm a lot more aware of myself and it just made us think what this girl is going through it will literally probably affect her all her life to the point where she will probably self-doubt herself she'll have no self-confidence she'll have no self-esteem all because these girls want to have the hierarchy of being popular look at me I'm fucking hard me like fucking belter you know there was plenty of that scene burn there was plenty of that and and I was never the one to fit in with the crowds or anything like that and you know there was like I'm gonna use a Mean Girls reference here so like in like in Mean Girls obviously you've got the hierarchy of Regina George and then you've got um, Janet and Damien I was probably Janet and Damien, you know, like, every girl wants to be, like, you know, like, popular at school, and that's why I never really had, like, any really good friends at school, like, I was always the one that was a freak, I was always the one that was slow, I was always the one that was, like, you know, just, like, didn't quite get things as quick as everyone else. And that's what schools are like. They literally um, pick out the people who are easy targets. And and it's like, it's, it's not fair because, you know, like, I remember the day, the, 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 like, I remember the day when the bullying started for me. I was around about the age of 10, so we're talking about 15 years ago now, almost 16 years ago. And I was in Greenfields, and there, were, there was basically a song called Mongoose is on the loose, trying to check it out. And I've already explained this in the Cause What is a Mongoose Anyway video, which i link down below. And, like, from then on, everyone started calling me this name, and I was really unsure as to why they called me this name and it just escalated from year five to year six and I remember my anxiety as a 10, 11 year old and you're still not, you know, you're a teenager and you're still trying to figure out what the hell life is and we're talking, we're talking like 2000, 2001 here. I'm just making myself feel old. Yeah, but basically like a teenager and like you know being plucked from a from a special school like going straight back into mainstream school I was still trying to find my feet and and like it just felt as if like I was the easy target and it just continued on in the scene bin and and it just it it was just from year seven to year eleven you know massive massive like difference and you know 
the, the school was full of Chavez. And this isn't a diss against anyone at the school. But, like, I was massively bullied. And then that made me think about this girl on social media today. And it got, you know, like, imagine, like, if I had had Facebook back then. And imagine if the bullies found me on Facebook back then. I mean, like, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have just been verbal bullying. It would have been more like online bullying, you know, cyber bullying. And <clears throat> that did happen to me a few times about five years ago. And it made me delete every single video on Jessica, well, what was then Jessica UK 91. Um, I was just making a lot of like videos that I didn't want to make and it made me think that like I wasn't good enough and it it just it really felt as if like I was letting the bullies win and it just made us feel like that and I wonder how this girl is feeling right now she's probably feeling like that she probably wants to kill herself that's exactly how i felt i mean this video is probably going to get flagged because because it's just like i'm talking so deeply but that girl who's in who's getting bullied in them videos probably feels like the worst person right now she probably feels like she wants to take i don't know like drugs or something to to commit suicide or something but no my advice to, to this girl or to anyone getting bullied do not give in to the bullies please I beg you because you know they're just wanting the hierarchy they're just wanting to be popular they're just wanting to be the fucking hard person when when it's just it's just the people you know what I mean the people are just they're just teenagers, they're just wanting to learn and they're just, they don't know what's right and wrong and they probably, the bullies themselves probably look back and think why, why did I do that when I was at school, I must have been a little fucking shit and, and like, you know what I mean, I'm seeing it from both sides now, I'm almost 26 and I've rambled on a bit, I know I'm not gonna lie but it's just basically when you're in a cocoon of 800 kids which is how many was in in Seton Burn um it just you know you think for four or five years of your life you're just gonna you, you're gonna be, this is your life and you just think I want a way out I want a way out I want a way out and I'm not gonna lie I started self-harming at the age of 16 because I wanted that I'm gonna go. I wanted. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? And it just, it just felt as if like I wanted a way out. And I bet you this girl does as well. And it's just, it's just no. It. This is just something I'm really, really, really passionate about. And it, it really does get to me when people basically do stuff like that on social media now oh pardon me like you know I mean I know I explained what a mongoose is in my videos but for anyone who who is a relatively new subscriber because I'm getting relatively new subscribers on a weekly basis now basically what a mongoose is is a tropical ferret and it's they're about that size you know what ferrets are they're like these little rodent things you see some people walk them and then down um sorry i'm gonna have to it's me back me back's absolutely killing i mean i mean yeah right what what gets me is oh yeah sorry mum. I'm, I'm getting distracted yeah anyway uh I'll just put a picture 
of what of what a mongoose is. Or oh, I'll just link the videos of what a mongoose mongoose is. Um, yeah, I went on a bit of a tangent. So basically, my message to anyone who's getting bullied: tell someone. Try to stick up for yourself the best you can, because ignoring them will not do anything. This is coming from someone who was bullied for seven years of our life, or six, six or seven years. Um, yeah, just, just basically, like, stick up for yourself the best you can. Um, have, basically, tell someone, and just just power on through it and try to try to write your feelings down in a way that's basically like healthy because I used to write songs and I was looking through me really old songs the other day and and a lot of them were really like heartbreaking and yeah but yeah and if I could have a conversation with my 15 year old self, I would literally tell her to just stick up for yourself, bitch, because it's going to be a long ride. Because the bullying still affects me 10 years later with low self esteem, anxiety, low confidence, and low everything else. But yeah, just. That's my rant about this video, so I'll see you guys later. I went on a bit of a tangent, so I'll see you later.